We are going to take you through how to safely don or fit check and also doff the Dentmold Medical D95 respirator mask. To ensure your mask fits correctly, always consult your local health network fit test specialist and refer to their procedures for fit testing. Procedures may vary slightly for different mask types or brands. Undergo appropriate and regular fit testing to ensure your respirator mask is providing an adequate seal. Weight loss or gain or facial surgery may indicate that you need to be refitted for a mask. Before putting on your mask, always practice appropriate hand hygiene. The Detmold Medical D95 respirator mask comes in multiple sizes. The fit clip will come attached to your mask, but there is also an XL fit clip available to provide extra length for your mask straps should you feel that they are too tight when fitting your mask. If you require an XL fit clip, your fit tester will conduct your fit test using this clip rather than the standard clip that comes with the mask. Today, we're donning a small D95 respirator mask secured at the back of the head with a regular size fit clip. The donning of your mask is also known as fit checking and this process must be followed each and every time you are going to wear a D95 mask. We start our donning procedure by moving the fit clip to the preferred side. Open the respirator mask and create a gentle curve in the nose wire. While holding the fit clip in one hand and the mask band in the other, lower your head placing your chin into the respirator and then lift the bands back up toward the crown of your head, securing the band onto the other side of the fit clip. Position the mask nose piece above the nasal flares. The mask should sit on the soft area of the nose rather than on the bone. You can easily adjust how the respirator is sitting on your face by holding the front central seam. Adjust the bands so it feels like a secure fit it's comfortable around the face and not at risk of the fit clip sliding out of position. If you notice an immediate gap between the side of the face and the mask, it may be that the strap needs to be adjusted. This can be done by lowering the strap below the ear. If a gap is still present after lowering the strap, a different size mask may be required. To begin the process of achieving an adequate seal, Use your index finger to firmly hold down the nose wire in the centre of your nose while using the other index finger and thumb in a pinching motion to firmly mould the nose wire over the bridge of the nose. This motion should be done in a downward movement to prevent peaking of the nose wire. The pinching motion should occur across the length of the nose wire, ensuring that the wire is sitting centrally on the face. Complete this pinching movement with some strength to ensure the mask is moulded as closely as possible above the nostril flare and around the face. Push downwards across the cheeks and nostril to check the nose wire is securely fitted on the nose and face. Next, using one hand, firmly pinch and hold the wire low on the flares of your nose. At the same time, drop your bottom jaw. This will allow the respirator to fit the natural shape of your face, promoting a better seal. To check the fit of your mask, move your head from side to side and then nod your head up and down, ensuring that there is no movement of the respirator on the face or on the nose piece. Any movement of the respirator at all would indicate that it is not fitted adequately and should be repositioned and refitted. To continue the fit check, Take a deep breath in and out while holding your hand above the mask to check that there is no air escaping. Your fit check is now complete. Remember once the respirator is applied, it should not be touched or reapplied. Now to remove the respirator, reach up to the crown of your head and without touching the respirator itself, carefully unhook the fit clip, keeping the tension on the bands. While maintaining control of the band tension, lean forward and slowly remove the respirator away from your face, making sure it doesn't flick forward or back toward the face. The respirator can now be discarded appropriately and safely. Ensure appropriate hand hygiene when doffing the respirator. Always consult with your local fit specialist and undergo appropriate fit testing to ensure your respirator is providing an adequate seal.